the QBO gym, and this is where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real-life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios, and to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you are looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you want to do an entire month's worth of these all on your own, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. But let's go ahead and get into today's exercise, which is being pulled from our October year one cardio section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what is going on in Craig's world this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz that relates to the video up above. Below that are the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have gone through all of the exercises in this section and completed them, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everyone what you have learned so far. So let's dive into today's exercise where we are going to practice invoicing statements with late fees. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise come up for you. I'll have it here on the right side of my screen, so let's read through the scenario. Mark Cho misplaced his invoice and requested a new one. Craig also asks you to send a reminder to Jeff Jalopies and add a $10 late fee to his overdue invoice. Craig has noticed that a lot of customers seem to pay their invoices late and is wondering what he can do to encourage them to pay on time. Craig also wants you to see if there is a way to add late fees automatically when they aren't paid by the due date. So here's how you here's what you can do to help Craig with this. Now you will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link in the description. I have this sample company here on the left side of my screen. Once you sign in, this is what it will look like. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. We're gonna start by sending Mark Cho's duplicate invoice. So from the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over sales and then select invoices. So here is that left navigation bar, this black bar here. We're gonna hover over sales and then once you do, uh, click on invoices. Now sorting this list alphabetically will help you find the customer quickly and will allow you to easily see if they have multiple invoices by grouping them together. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on customer at the top um, in order to sort it alphabetically. So that is right here, click on that. And as soon as you do, you will see that now all of the ones that are grouped, um, they are all the ones that are related to a particular uh, customer are now being grouped. So let's scroll down to Mark Cho. And when we do, we see that there is only one invoice that is showing here. So on the far right side of that row, we're going to click on the down arrow and then click on send. So the down arrow here, his, his row right here, click on that down arrow, go ahead and click on send. And as soon as you do, you will get this pop-up showing you what it will look like, um, what it, who it is from, who it goes to. Um, you can choose to have a copy sent to you. This is the subject line, which can be edited, as well as what is in the email body. And you can see also here what the invoice looks like, which will be attached to this email as a PDF. So at this point, you could make any of these changes that you want, um, but we're gonna leave it as is. And then to send that invoice, we're going to click on the green send button. So go ahead and do that. And it says that one email has been sent. Now, this is the sample company, so you can't actually send invoices from the sample company, but it is showing you what it would look like when you did, if you were doing this in client books. So Craig asks you to add a $10 late fee to the Jeff Jalopy's invoice, but he also asks you if there was a way to automate a late fee for all overdue invoices. For efficiency's sake, work on setting up an automatic late fee process first so you aren't double working the process. Then you can apply it to Jeff's Jalopy's invoice. 
Now, it's great that Craig wants to improve the accounts receivable process. It can speed up the process of getting paid and increase the company's cash flow. For small businesses, cash flow is necessary to cover daily business expenses, but there are some things to take into consideration and some guidelines to follow when setting up automatic late fees, as well as some things that Craig will need to make some decisions on. This is a great time to talk to Craig about his business frustrations and goals and to see if um, there is anything else you can automate or a report you can generate to help Craig improve his business finances. In order for a late fee to be legally enforceable, you it must be outlined and agreed upon in the original client contract or in the invoice payment terms. This can be as simple as adding a note on the invoice. It helps to keep the process transparent, professional, and impersonal. No one likes getting surprise charges, including your clients. You will need to be you need to include clear terms on all of the invoices you send. Note that some states restrict how much you can be charged in late payment fees. Rules, limits, and other regulations are set in place under the U.S. Prompt Payment Act. Be sure to check out these laws in your state for more information or seek legal advice if you're unsure of the maximum interest you can charge. Walk through this to create a good process for Craig. Now, Craig mentioned that he noticed a lot of customers seem to be paying late. Take a quick peek at the accounts receivable aging summary to see how much money Craig is owed in overdue invoices. So we're going to get to the reporting center on the left navigation bar. Let's go ahead and click on reports. So again, that left navigation bar is this black bar here. Halfway down is reports. Go ahead and click on that. And then we want the accounts receivable aging summary report, which happens to be a favorite. So go ahead and click on that to have it run. Now, while you are not going to be doing a deep dive into this report, when you look at it, you can start to form a picture of what might be contributing to Craig's frustration. Craig currently has a total of $5,281.52 in invoices that his customers have received and haven't paid yet. Out of those, there are 11 invoices totaling $1,525.50, ranging between the 1 to 90 days delinquent. That can seem like a drop in the bucket for some businesses, but for smaller business, it can really make a difference in the health of the business and cause more stress for an owner. So we're gonna move on to the ad, ad, set up automatic late fees. So as you can see here, here is that total, the amount that is still owed to him. And you can see the combination between these one to 90 days delinquent. If you added those all up, it is that 1525.50. So um, you can see why Craig may be a little frustrated. So let's go ahead and set up those automatic late fees. We're gonna click on the gear icon and then select account and settings. So the gear icon is on the top right corner of the screen, click on that. And then under your company is account and settings. Now, once it comes up on the left hand menu, we are going to click on sales so we can get to that tab. So go ahead and click on that. You may get this pop up that asks if you are going to switch sections without saving. Pretty sure this is just a glitch in the sample company. Go ahead and click on the green OK button. We are going to look at the late fees section. So that is the one, two, three, fourth one down here. Go ahead and click anywhere in that section to make it editable. We want to go ahead and click on the uh, toggle to, uh, to turn on automatic late fees. It will turn green and more options will expand once you um, will, will expand um, once uh, when you click on it. There we go. So go ahead and click on that toggle. It will turn green and then you will see there are a lot more options now that have been uh, up, uh, appearing here in this section. So after automatic late fees are enabled in QBO, they will be assessed on new invoices according to the settings and will be applied for up to six months until they are paid. They are not applied retroactive, retroactively on existing overdue invoices when they are first enabled. They will also not apply to any unpaid invoices in closed periods. So keep that in mind. The first option given is whether to use a flat fee or a percentage of the remaining balance. For this exercise, we're going to go with that $10 flat fee that Craig had requested. 
And then we're gonna complete the default charge applied to overdue invoice invoices section as follows down here. So under type, we wanna make sure that flat fee is selected, which it currently is. In the amount field, we want to type 10 to show $10, so go ahead and do that. We are going to leave the frequency as once per invoice. If you click on that arrow, you see there are a couple other options here. We want it once per invoice, so go ahead and have that selected. We're going to leave the grace period here as is. Note that QBO will automatically create a product called late fee or whatever we choose in this box to display on the invoices. You'll see how that appears a little bit later here. Also, we're going to leave apply sales tax turned off, which is right there. So we are good here. Let's go ahead and click on the green save button. And now that has been turned on. And now that you have enabled the automatic charges, let's go ahead and set up an invoice reminder. The goal of adding a late fee is not to create revenue, but to get customers to pay their invoices on time. Setting up automatic email invoice reminders can help. You are still working in the sales tab in the account and settings. So in this tab still, we want to click in the reminders section to make it editable. So that's a couple down from late fees. That's one, two, three down from there. Go ahead and click on it to have it turn um, editable. And then we're gonna click on the toggle to enable automatic invoice reminders. Go ahead and click on that. We're gonna leave all the other settings as is and then just click on save. So this is giving you um, an idea of what the reminders are. Um, there's gonna be one that's sent three days before the due date, on the due date, and then three days after the due date if it has not been paid. So let's go ahead and click on the green save button, and then go ahead and click on the green done button. And now those settings have been saved. Next, let's go ahead and update the invoices to reflect the late payment terms. So we're gonna click on the gear icon and then click on custom form styles. So the gear icon, once again, on the top right corner, click on that. And then under your company is custom form styles. Now in the sample company, the only form you have is a, de as a standard default invoice form. You will use this to add the information about the late fee so that it shows on all new invoices that go out to customers. So let's go ahead and edit this one that's currently in here. Go ahead and click on the edit. And now we will uh, have this come up for us. We actually wanna click on this content tab right there. And as soon as you do, you will see that there are three different sections here. We want to edit the bottom section right here. You can go ahead and click on that pencil icon. And now the information that's down here, we can make adjustments to it over on this side. So in the message to customer field, we are going to type invoice payment is due within the terms set above. Please be advised that we will charge a $10 fee on all late invoices. Thank you for your business and have a great day. So that's a lot to type. <laughs> so did you know that you can actually copy the text from these exercises and paste it in the sample company? That's exactly what I'm going to do. So go ahead and highlight over all of that wording. And then once you do, go ahead and copy it. And then what is currently here, you can delete it and then go ahead and paste um, the new wording that will show up here. And you can see a preview of it over here on the right side of the screen. So this has been updated. We now have clear expectations in terms of, of what will happen if the invoice is not paid um, when by the terms that are set. So let's go ahead and click on the green done button. And now that has been updated for that form. But what do the invoices look like now? So let's go ahead and create a new one just to find out. We're gonna click on the plus new button and then click on invoice. So the plus new button is on the top left corner, click on that, and then under customers, select invoice. And once this comes up, we're just gonna select Amy's Bird Sanctuary just so we can see how it will look. And once you do, um, all the information is showing and you can see now that under the due date section, a notation states that late fees will apply, which is right here. 
If you click on it, it will give you, uh, it will open to give you instructions on how you can further customize it. So I just clicked on it and you can see that flat fee of $10 once per invoice, no grace period. That is all based off of what we had put in the account and settings when we had set this up. So the message in the invoice section will now contain the late fee terms so that the customer is aware that they will be charged, which is down here. This is uh, now how a newly created invoice will look going forward. However, it doesn't apply to any already outstanding invoices. So let's go ahead and take care of the Jeff's jalopies. So um, you can click on late fees apply to open up the details just so you can see how it looks. But once you're done, go ahead and click on the X on the top right corner to exit out of this. You're gonna get a pop-up asking if you wanna leave without saving, go ahead and click on the green yes. And now we can move on to Jeff's jalopies. So let's go ahead and add that late fee to the invoice. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over sales and then select invoices. So sales once again, and then uh, click on invoices. It should already uh, be uh, sorted still by customer. So let's scroll down until we find Jeff's jalopies. Here he is, and there is only one outstanding invoice here. So we are going to click on edit to open up his invoice. So once you find it, go ahead and click on edit. And the invoice is going to appear for you. Now under the due date, it shows that late fees are off. This is because the invoice was created before we enabled that automatic late fee. So you need to add late fees on this as a line item down here. So let's go ahead and complete it as follows. On the second line in the product service field, we're going to select late fee. So go ahead and click into it. You can start typing late to get late fee um, showing up here. Now remember, QBO created this product service when we turned on the feature in the account and settings. This is what I was talking about before that we would see it later here in the exercise. This is where it would show up. Now note that sales tax is turned on in this account in the sample company, even though we had left this setting off in account and settings. This is a bug in QBO and it's been reported in a real life scenario, the taxation of late fees would be determined by the state your customer is in. So just keep that in mind. In the rate field, we're going to type 10. So go ahead and click into that, type 10, hit the tab key, and you will see that QBO has updated the total for this invoice. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on save and send. So go ahead and do that. Um, the sample company is not actually gonna send the invoice, but you can just see what it would look like on the next screen. So go ahead and do that and you will get this pop-up right here. And at this point, you would have the opportunity to include any additional notes in the accompanying email to Jeff. You can make any kind of adjustment here as well as in the subject line. So we're just gonna click on send and close. Go ahead and click on that green button. And uh, you'll get this error that you can't actually send this in the sample company, and we know that, um, but in real life, that would show that it actually had been sent. But that is how you would apply late fees. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. We have finished the cardio section and we move on to the strength training section with our next exercise where we practice setting up sales tax. And I will see you in the next video.